Hi, this is Myron Rosie from the blog of VOA, bringing you a video review of the Toys R Us Green Lantern movie figure. This is the early bird action figure that is limited to a production run of 2,814 figures. It's the adult collector's 3-inch figure with the die-cast metal version of the movie ring. So without further ado, let's get to it. So I'm going to skip past this white outer protective box and get right to the action figure. Mattel has really done a good job here. You can see the movie style ring visible through the window and above that you've got a hole cut through the center of the Green Lantern logo so you can see into the interior package and see the actual Hal figure. There is no protective film here whatsoever. Uh, you'll notice when you flip the package over you're going to see uh, there's Ryan Reynolds as Hal Jordan and above that you'll see the Green Lantern logo. The package is nice, it's a nice display piece in and of itself, but you'll notice when I put it down it kind of opens. What Mattel could have done to make this even a little bit better is put maybe a magnet strip or something in here so that the box would stay closed when you put it down because this, this is really a nice display piece on its own. Uh, once you open it up you can see there's the translucent green Green Lantern logo base and they are numbered. You can see this is number 2766 and the Hal figure is kind of posed. He's held in by some elastic bands. Uh, first thing I want to show you though is the ring because that's what a lot of people are really the most interested in. It's installed in the figure so that the figure case so that it just snaps in and out and you can see here's the ring. Looks really kind of cool up close. There's a lot of detail to it. And uh, just to give you to some size comparisons, here is the promo ring for Blackest Night. So you can kind of see they're, they're almost the exact same size. Uh, the one thing I do notice is because it is a thicker band, uh, when you put it on your finger, it is a little bit snugger than what you might get with um, the plastic ring. Plus, it's not split like the plastic ring is, so there's really not a lot of give to it. Um, but if you can see by my fingers see how this ring kind of stretches just a little bit to accommodate my, my fat fingers. Um, it's about the same. And you'll notice the profile on the ring. If I hold them side by side. The, um, the prop ring is a little bit shorter than, or I should say deeper, a little less deep than the prop, the uh, giveaway ring. So, very nicely done. Uh, I'm really impressed with the fact that this is not plastic like most of these little figures are going to have with them. This is a die cast ring and it's done in an adult size. I think if you were waiting for the plastic rings that come with the figures, I think they're going to be smaller and they're certainly not going to be as nice as this. Um, very, very well done job here. I, I'm, I'm really pretty impressed with that. Obviously not as good as what we're probably going to see from DC Direct and the Noble Collection, but for the price of the figure to have this thrown away, thrown in, this is a good ring, certainly could be worn with a costume or what have you. Um, obviously the size of your fingers are going to matter. Um, if you get a white glove on or whatever, it's going to be a little difficult. Okay, now onto the figure itself. The uh, Hal Jordan figure is held in place by a couple of elastic bands, one around the left leg and one around the right arm. Those were easy enough to pull off. When it came to the clear plastic base, I did have to cut them. Um, really kind of cool. There's a foot peg in the top that you can put the figure on so you could stand it on the base. Really kind of neat. Uh, the figure itself, about what you would expect from these, these small size figures. There's not a lot of articulation and detail here because of the size. You can see it definitely does look like the Ryan Reynolds version of Hal Jordan. Head turned side to side. There is no up and down. In terms of the shoulders, you've got up and down and you know it's a ball joint so it'll go around. No articulation at all in the wrists or the elbows. You can rotate the waist. When it comes to the hips, You've got the up and down, and you can move them out. There's nothing going on at all in terms of articulation for the knee joint or the ankle. So it's, it's not very articulated, but great for a little kid to play with. You can see that this particular figure kind of shows how powering up with the power going down his right arm to his ring. And you'll see there is a difference in color between the, the left hand and the right hand because of the energy going into the ring. To give an idea of scale, this is the Hal Jordan Green Lantern Infinite Heroes figure. So it's a little taller than that. Not a lot of great articulation, but a, but a cool little collectible. So to sum it all up, the Toys R Us Early Bird action figure is a great way to get started if you're going to collect items from the upcoming Green Lantern movie. Some people have bought the $30 price point, but when you take into consideration the fact that this is a limited edition collectible, you get some great packaging, and you get the die-cast metal version of the movie ring, it's definitely worth the investment. The action figure was being pre-sold. It's still available from ToysRUs.com at this point, and I'm sure you're going to see it on the secondary market on eBay. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Take care.